today we are on Hexagon Boost. Uh, maybe you introduce you. Uh, my name is Antonio Mendes. Uh, a mobile mapping uh, solutions manager for all Europe, Middle East, and Africa. Okay, I would say that is the biggest laser scanning announcement for Hexagon in this year. I think uh, from new products. I think yeah. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. it's a complete uh, new system, and I think it's also not only an upgrade, but it's a complete new idea what it does to the previous version. Okay. Uh, it's uh, indeed so. So TRK, uh, uh, in my view, we've got a, a quite aggressive slogan: "The future is our TRK." And this product is based in three main pillars: intelligent, simplicity, and autonomous. Okay. We want to tell that mobile mapping is not for experts anymore; it's for everyone. It's uh, one point is I think where I see the simplicity is that you uh, that you easy can mount it on the car and uh, well I, I can give you a quick example yeah, yeah. so my uh, the previous version of mobile mapping we were okay. talking about a 50 kilos unit yeah, yeah. okay so a 50 kilos unit we are talking for a two three men's operation yeah. with this system in the easiest way I can just remove from the top of the car as you can just see yeah, I've yeah. got a platform that will slide and the easiest way I will be just a single click and I'm just taking the system in a single hand. Okay. So we are talking for 20 kilos. Yeah. It is quite easy to operate by a single person. Yeah. And let's do it again. Operate. And just back to... What's this uh, for some, there are no mobile scanning. We have here the laser unit. Uh, what is a very important part. Yeah. Yeah. They have different laser units. Maybe explain what the many laser units does for your system. L l let me maybe ex start from the beginning. So inside, we've got the GNSS yes, plus INU. Is the inside the antenna? Because you don't inside see it antenna. on top, yeah, yeah. On top inside of the camera. Antenna. Ah, okay. So uh, we made the system more compact. Okay. All that allows us to improve the, the accuracy of our system for 40%. Okay. And we've got now four different products that we can present. Ah, okay. Based on your level of accuracy, and the range of the data that you like to capture. Okay. So, ah, you can have different insights, a different GPS, IMU. Uh, no, no, no. A same. GPS and IMU is exactly the same. same. Okay. The only thing that will change is the main laser scan. Okay. It will be one or two and short and well, long no. range. Okay, okay. Based okay. on your needs. You tell us that the short is 130 something or? The short goes up to 180 meters, but we, when we are talking about short range, we are talking about a corridor that would be for a motorway or rail when yeah. we are looking for the millimeter. The millimeters, and the long the, one the is long like 400. 400, up to 400. And the very interesting part is what does the small laser scanners, or not small, but the additional scanners in the end and in the front, maybe explain it? Well, so in areas that the GPS is denied, we want to continue to work. So these two lasers will help you to improve or continue to uh, um, improve the accuracy in areas that the GNSS is denied. This means that the internal synchronization that works with GPS, if you know GPS, they use additional SLAM information, but also the IMU, and uh, there, there are some intelligent programs so combined there. <laughs> okay. Until today, uh, we were able to capture tunnel, but we were relying on the drift by the IMU mm. and in ground control points. Yeah. Now we have one extra thing to add. So now SLAM, SLAM is not a magic box. Yeah. SLAM is part of the solution. So now Sorry, we've got RTK, something that I forgot yeah. to tell. So the system also operates in real time. Yeah. It's also a key feature. But uh, uh, in challenging environments, we've got GNSS, yes, we've got IMU, and now we've got SLAM. I think uh, maybe in a cylindrical road tunnel, SLAM not so useful, but if you're going in a parking spot or you have a walkie tunnel, then this really helps you to um, deliver very good data. So we are doing several tests. Okay. And I can show you a test later on uh, for a tunnel that I drove three times, 1.6 kilometers tunnel that I drove three uh, times. And the difference between the three passes are zero. Okay. So if it was the good trajectory or if it was the good slump that improved yeah. or made the data great, it will take me a little bit longer to, to investigate, but I can tell that I'm really happy with the final result of the data. Okay. On this particular data is a data that is not adjusted yet, but you can see, for example, I'm testing, I'm testing a different kind of control point for the software will detect. So 
Here you ah, see, for example, point, the yeah. difference between the control points and the data measured by, uh, by us and the just. Uh, so a couple of centimeters offset that at the end of the day, with, uh, with the technique, we will adjust. As you are pretty close with the, what's come from the system to your control points. Things not so big difference. Uh, no, no, but, uh, but we are used to support customers, yeah. for example. What is the... Uh, which sensor we see here now? Is this the, uh, sorry, sir, the, is this the short range sensor or is this the long range? This uh, this is the long range sensor. Uh, uh, can you go a little bit out that uh, we see, what we can see on site? Yeah, uh, yeah. But to be fair, uh, uh, you cut it off. Ah, okay, yeah. 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 we are not taking all the advantage yeah, okay. of it. I can show you the data from Abu Dhabi for, for okay. the high buildings and you will see the advantage. But what you, what you will see here is five passes. We drove this road five times. Yeah, yeah, and this looks look very good. No, no overlapping. Yeah, yeah, this is very good. Was this a single head or a dual head system? A uh, dual, dual head. In this particular okay. case, it's a dual head. The, let me just open that one. Yeah. And for example, here, I can overlay the point cloud with the data. Okay. And this is the, um, the integrated camera. What we see now, the small camera? No, in this particular case, ah, I'm working the with a 360, uh, 360. But uh, something that I did not mention when we were... Yeah, we were, speaking. So we can also add additional cameras. We can add additional cameras, and we've got a clever way to manage this information. So we've got something called Smart Fusion, that yeah. in the moment that we are losing the definition from the exterior camera, the software will swap automatically uh, and now I need to find a better position. We'll swap automatically for the side cameras. Okay. So all these, all these to make sure I need to identify with no problem, with an hundred percent sure the center of that point there. Ah, okay. You know, so I will expand my resolution of the image working with the side camera. Uh, this is a very interesting integration of all the sensors together. Thing is, something new was actually nobody other does on the market for my. From my understanding, the power of TRK is is in the processing, and and we are now we know that uh, um, we are facing some challenge to capture data respecting the privacy. Okay. So the system, and this is not a perfect example here, but the system is able to blur automatically all the images. Yeah. Okay. Okay. As but, like blur well, people out and and uh, numbers plates. But okay. blurring is not here in the software. Okay. I, 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 I'm telling the software during uh, the hardware during the acquisition to blur. And take a look, for example, here. The software during the processing stage is classified the data in all these different layers. So I can ah, reduce, okay. for example, and remove all the vegetation ah. automatically. So I have no vegetation at all. I know in this particular area I've got uh, uh, vehicles, a car. Ah, you can the, 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 the software is clever enough to identify what is a car and okay. is removing all the cars. If you just need to calculate a DTM, so I've got um, the natural terrain and uh, um, the road surface, and take a look now at the project without the road surface. So it's a quite efficient machine learning, efficient ah, intelligent okay. that is now able to detect all that. And for example, in our software, you can see the amount of different layers that okay. we are now able to identify. Ah, okay. um, and lots of companies, for example, working in utilities, they would like to find all uh, uh, the poles and yeah, power, power lines. lines. Yeah. And now we can see here all the power lines. But if I select in the software by classes, you will notice that the power lines will have a different color. And it's also yellow. very good how that the point cloud is, uh, that you can detect it, this speaks for your calibration. Okay. If you are looking to work for telecom in a telecom project, the long range and this kind of definition is the right tool. Okay. Uh, yeah. If you are looking for the millimeter for the asphalt for yeah. a, a, a runway of airport, yeah. probably the short range will be the best one to go. Okay. Okay. I think we have it. To make it short. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>
Group. And we are really proud and pleased to announce the new Ladybug 6 uh, 360 degree spherical imaging camera. This product is the leading spherical imaging product for uh, all weather imaging on outdoor moving platforms. Uh, it is an increase to 72 megapixels. Uh, we have maintained the high degree of spatial accuracy of plus or minus two millimeters okay. at 10 meter distance. Okay. And that is critical to all of our customers that integrate both imaging data to colorize LiDAR uh, point cloud it. data. Or to see something specific in the pictures. Absolutely, so if you need to uh, resolve uh, information, for example, the lettering on a utility pole or cadastral yeah. information or license plates at a distance at a further rate in further range, that extra resolution helps increase that probability of capturing that content on its first yeah. pass. I think you can also see it very nice because I we, we was also the, uh, uh, selling the Maverick system, what had an integrated ah. Ladybug older version. Yes. And I can see really that it is a higher resolution here and also the, the intensity of the picture and the reality of the colonist is it's a much different view now it's, as from the previous version. It's a big enhancement. One of the things we added as a, as a feature enhancement is on board the Ladybug 5 Plus, which is our current model that we currently have available, uh, will allow you to do processing at 8-bit okay. and 12-bit, but the 8-bit processing can also be performed on board the camera. What we've now added with Ladybug 6 is to do the 12-bit onboard processing on board the camera. So this is auto white balance, uh, sorry, yeah, auto white balance, uh, 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 black level, uh, auto gain, all these types of onboard processing is now can be done on board the camera. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. And maybe something for my uh, personal interest yeah. is uh, was Ladybug at first uh, a standalone company then acquired by FLIR and FLIR was acquired by Teledyne or how was the story? Yeah, and as many of you in the industry uh, know, this product line, this is its 21st year. Yeah. Uh, we're very proud of the fact that it originated uh, with a company called Point Grey. Okay. As many of you in the industry may recognize, Point Grey was then acquired by FLIR, and then okay. FLIR was acquired by Teledyne. Then, ah, okay, yes. that's a still yes. whole story. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Maybe somebody yeah. say, oh yeah, that's, we know, that's, that's not the new stuff, but for me it was new. That's correct, okay. yeah, that's right, Eric. Mike, uh, many thanks to present the new camera. Uh, have a great look on this product. Yeah. And, and one is also important, what I find with the Ladybug, with the older camera, I say, oh, there is a uh, much other development, smaller camera than this, but everybody used this camera. But on Monday during the presentation, you told, we have a camera who works like every day, uh, seven day a week, uh, one year without that technology jumping out from Correct, yeah. yeah. Well, what we're really pleased about is the fact that we maintain the quality standard of our products. So what we do is we calibrate all of our sensors on board our cameras in factory. And that ensures that there's consistent quality, whether you're producing the first unit, the 10th unit, or the 100th unit, all of them maintain that quality standard, consistent to their customers that need to and rely on a, on a product that must operate critically for their business operations, eight hours a day, five days a week, you know, every week throughout the entire year. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, you have it. <laughs> oh, well, good. Thank you very much, Eric. Yeah, we are here on the booth from Get Kids to In Survey. I find this interesting because it's not only focused on sensors and what we are doing. <laughs> I find this kind of, all the technical stuff, it's something completely different. But uh, who you are and what is your, uh, what you're doing here with your mission? Well, thank you for coming on the stand. Yes. My name's Elaine Ball. Um, I'm a geospatial marketeer. That's my profession. Ah, okay. uh, we have a marketing consultancy. So this. Get Kin Survey started off in 2017 as a bit of fun. Yeah. Um, and we actually um, have been, were tasked from the Survey Association in the UK to actually put some information in the marketing packs at the AGM for the Survey Association. And I said, okay. I tell you what, I will do something better. I will come up with a poster about surveying um, because we're working with the most amazing cartoonist with Topodot. So ah, okay. Topodot were one of my customers. And I thought, this is what we'll do, make it fun. So we came up with the poster. And the poster is literally just to show different examples 
of the types of applications surveyors get I guess into. Too, yeah. Because nobody knows what a surveyor is. Yeah, so if, I, if I'm a young guy <laughs> starting a practical before I go to study and say, I, I'm, I'm study serving, and somebody say, what? Oh, you can study <laughs> oh, serving? Doing? It's not, not this idea to stay with the pool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this absolutely. is an engineering job. Yeah, that's yeah it, uh, absolutely. And it's a problem. Yeah. It's like, and I work with quite a lot of universities from a marketing standpoint, and their numbers are dwindling really bad. Yeah, um, so yeah, I, yeah thought, I, know, I know from also we have some UK customers, and they told me really hard to find UK yeah. people. They like to go into survey business. Uh, we have big consultancy from London uh, where yeah. we're partnering our, yeah. uh, with our customers. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And that's an issue. So I thought they need to start younger. They need to start much younger. Yeah. So we thought 12 years and under. So this is literally grown legs. So, ah, okay. And everybody starts, can I have a poster? Can I have a poster? <laughs> okay. So how we're, we're funded, we're funded purely by industry. So it's all privately funded. And these are all like, the, you ah, know, you lots get... of people here that we use. Yeah. Like you don't just get, we don't just stick a logo of what yeah, you're doing too. on our poster. You design your own character. Ah, so okay. as you can see from here, yeah, yeah. we've actually got some really cool yeah, characters. Yeah. We have it on our booth too. We have these <laughs> Lego guys on our booth. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. And this, so then what's really good is the surveyors or the manufacturers get really excited and they come up with their own characters. Ah, okay. And then they're part of I just the- I just say Regal the, Bear and- The uh, Regal Bear. The He's Leica Dragon. Popular. Ah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, so to be fair, the, the Leica Dragon and the Regal Bear are one of the most popular out of ah, all okay. of them. Yeah. So you get to have a character. And then what we do is, each poster comes with two homework sheets. So you can also sponsor the homework sheets. Okay. And the homework sheets are, are downloaded from our website and then people can fill them in. Okay. So we focus purely on industry. So it's purely, we're going after surveyors and the geospatial sector globally. Okay. There's so many kids in there. Everybody's got children or knows children. So okay. they, they go out in that way. And we also do brand ambassadors. So okay. we get people coming up to us and going, Elaine, can I, can I share what you're doing? And I'm yeah, like, sure, yeah. do yeah, it. Because yeah, okay. they're getting in at a local level. So, um, so the next stage is then to get it into more kids and uh, more, more kids. schools and all that sort of thing. So that means that somebody can order these this, um, calendars for yeah, this one posters, and then yeah. and you can give it to school and say maybe yeah. you hang it at uh, school for a while and then you say, ah, what are they doing? Okay. Yeah, so okay. what we're doing is you can go online onto the website, you can order a poster, all you do is pay for shipping. Okay, So we That's ship out the cool. UK, yeah, we ship out UK, Australia and America. So we have three Did distributors. You, and this is uh, get, uh, get kids into survey. I think we will put this in the movie here or in the below yeah. somewhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. To make it easy. Yeah, yeah, and definitely. they pay only shipping and then they can, they can get uh, some yeah. posters and then they can share. Okay, that's very cool. Yeah. Uh, thanks and success. You're very welcome. Thank you very much. Yeah, here we are in a booth from South uh, Instrument producer from China, and they show here a new laser scanner, and who you are, and maybe you can tell us uh, more to the system. I am Andre from uh, Romania. We are a reseller for South products. Okay. Uh, we have been a reseller for more than uh, 19 years. Okay. We have a huge background with South products, and this is their first laser scanner, 3D laser scanner that was produced entirely and designed produced entirely by them, by okay. their company. So. It's a uh, few details I can give about this uh, product. It uh, has a 2 million points acquisition rate and uh, 12, two, two integrated cameras, the 12.3 megapixels each. Uh, has the capability of measuring up to 1.5 kilometers at the long range and uh, the shortest range is uh, 1.5 meters. The accuracy of the data is 5 millimeters at uh, 100 meters. Okay. Also, we have um, uh, 5 minutes full scan at uh, 2 millimeters at 120 meters uh, time of uh, okay. scanning. So okay. it's quite an impressive uh, machine. Uh, capability of storage directly on a USB 2.0 drive. And uh, you can take it out and uh, insert it on a laptop and quickly start your post-processing. Okay. Cool.